Hello everyone and welcome back to the fourth episode of the Lua Build series. I hope you're all well and staying safe. In this episode, we're going to be building a touchscreen here in the Lua series. We're going to be building a menu with it that we can navigate to different screens and also click on different buttons to do things in our creation. We'll go over all the logic, all the components that you're going to need. However, before we get started, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and what else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this episode. So getting started with this episode, we're back here at the creative base and you can see we've got our example that we've been building up in the last three episodes. Now I'm actually gonna just take this back to the workbench and we're gonna actually just extend the base here and we're gonna be starting a new block here. So we're gonna keep it completely separate from our current system uh, just because, just in case some people are new and they just wanna learn how to do the touch part of this. So what we're going to do is we'll get a two by two screen. So let's go and get a simple display and you can use any monitor you want to, it's up to you. Uh, I'm just gonna use a two by two for this example. The next thing we're going to need is we're gonna need something to turn the screen on. So I'm gonna use a simple toggle button. That's gonna turn the screen on and off. Now we're gonna start by getting the screen to actually display something. We'll then get it to press a button and we can turn a light on. So we'll get a simple light. And then eventually we'll actually get it to switch screens by pressing a button. Okay, so, and going into a different menu, for example, it's up to you. But this is the very basics we'll need so far. So let's get that connected. So we're gonna get our on signal to our monitor, and then we're gonna get our electricity to our button, our light, and our screen. We can then go into our microcontroller because that's pretty much all done. We're gonna call our microcontroller the touch example. And I'm gonna straight away just go and save it. It's just gonna make our lives a little bit easier. Save it, close it out here, go back to our inventory, look for the touch example, and then we can edit it from there. Okay, so we've got that in now. So once we have that, we can actually click on the touch example, go to edit, and now we can start working on it. I prefer this way sometimes. Now, the first thing is we're going to need some way of reading the data on that screen. So that's composite, so composite input, and that's gonna be touch, great. We're gonna need a video out, so that's gonna go to our screen. So it's gonna be out to screen. Great, so we got a touch in and video out, and then we also need a way of controlling that light. So we'll use a simple on off node, and that's gonna be an output, and that's gonna go to our light. Cool. So we've got that, we can now go into our logic. So we can start splitting everything else out like I like to do. One thing to remember you need to do is make sure that output to the screen is actually an out. I forgot to change it, and we're gonna change it to an output now, okay? Let's go back into our logic, and you can see now we can push it to the right. The most important thing we're going to need is a Lua block. That's where all of our coding is going to be in. So we're going to go from our composite touch into our screen and then from our screen into the actual real screen. So this is a Lua screen. Okay. We also need some way of turning this on and off. Okay. So we're going to go and simply go and use a read. We're going to read the composite and we're going to convert it into an on and off here. Perfect. Fantastic. And you can see there it's going in outputting. Let's now go into our actual Lua script and let's start doing everything we need to do inside there. So we're gonna go into our Lua script and you can leave most of the stuff in here. I'm gonna get rid of the circle and I'm gonna get rid of these different things at the top here. Now, the first thing I want to do is actually wanna draw my menu because I wanna make sure that's working. So I'm gonna set the color and let's set the color to 100 by 100 by 100, which should be like a nice white color, okay. And then we're going to go and draw a rectangle at the top. So let's go and get a draw rectangle. You could type it in. I sometimes just find it easier just to copy and paste it from here. Okay. And now we can decide where we want to draw it. I'm going to draw it one by one. And the width is going to be, let's say, the width of the screen minus two. And the height will be, let's say, eight. Okay. So we should now have a rectangle at that position. So let's go and press done again. We'll update it because it's already placed on our controller. And now let's make sure we connect our composite, connect our lights, and connect our video. Spawn it in. We should see that rectangle on the screen. And we do. Fantastic. Okay, it's one, one too big on that side, so we'll decrease it. And then what I wanted to do is I want to press the button. So I actually want to press it, 
like there and I want that light to come on. So go into our Lua script again, go into our actual Lua. I told you I wanted to just decrease the size. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. And we're going to say if someone is pressing that, then we want you to output a, a, a number or an on, on channel, whatever we want. So an easy way to actually set up the touchscreen data is all the information is here inside the actual help, which is really cool. Okay. So we're, the first thing we're going to do is we're actually just going to go and grab all this data over here. Okay. So all that, and I'm going to go paste it at the top here. Great. So now what it's doing is it's reading the input X and it's reading the, sorry, it's reading the input get number three from our composite touchscreen, the input get number four from our touchscreen, and if we're actually pressing it from our touchscreen. Then what it's doing is it's saying, okay, well, if a player is pressing the screen and they're pressing it inside this box, then this is active. Okay, so then is pressing rectangle. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to say whatever these numbers were, we're going to actually go and delete them. And we're going to paste what we have down here. Okay, so that means that if someone is pressing it inside that box, then is pressing rectangle on. Now you could say that you could call that T1 if you wanted to. It's up to you, completely up to you. Okay, let's say touch one. Okay, then we can go back to our help text and then we can just go and make sure that this is all set up also. Okay, so we're just going to go and simply go and copy this again. It's an extra function that you do need. Go in there and paste it in. Okay, simple, don't touch anything, just leave it literally as is. Go back to our help and we can see we actually don't really need anything now. Cool. Now we want to go and output on channel one. Okay, so we're going to output in channel one and we're going to steal this one. Perfect. Let's copy it and we'll come in here and after our T1, we're going to come and place it there. We're going to say output set bool, which is set on off channel one and it's this T1. So we can just copy T1 here and paste it. So what this is pretty much doing, it's reading the composite. It's then saying, okay, if someone's pressing the screen and it's within this area, then activate T1. If T1 is activated, then go and output on set pool one. Perfect. Press done again. Let's update it. Confirm. Spawn our creation in and we should actually get it to work. So let's see. We've got our menu. Let's press it. There we go. We got our light. It's coming on. Fantastic. Look at that. We touch the screen and the light comes on. Cool. Now we could, if we wanted to also, we could go back into our controller back into our Lua script and we can get a simple text box. We can write in that text box and we can call it light. So we're gonna get our text box again, go back down to the end of this, make a new line, text box. We're gonna create it at the same height and width of this, exactly the same as this triangle box or the rectangle box. That's why we always start with this first before we do anything else. The text is going to be light. So let's go and put that in. And then our heart line and our vertical line will be zero because we want it in the center. And then let's go spawn that in. Let's see now if it writes light in the center of that box. Go in, let's go and activate it. There we go, we got light. Okay, it's a little bit high, so we might need to drop it down one. That's fine, but that's easy enough to do. Press it and there we go. Now the next thing I want to do is I want it to press and I want to have another button that I press and I want it to switch screens for me. So let's go and make that button. So we're going to come back into our Lua here and we're going to say, okay, draw a rectangle. And where do we want this? Well, we know that this rectangle is going eight down. So starting at one, it's going eight down. Okay, fair enough. So let's go and start this at, let's say 10. And we're going to go eight down again, leave everything else the same. And then we can copy the text again, do exactly the same thing where we have this. We'll make it 10 and we'll call this, uh, let's say camera. Okay. So now if we press the screen, over here, we should get a camera. Fantastic. We should get that little box with a camera written in it. Cool. We can even change that to 11 because we told, we said earlier that it was a little bit too high up. Great. Okay. Now where we can come again is where we have this T1. We're going to go and copy that exact same thing again. Control, paste, and we're going to make this T2. Okay. T2. Cool. Okay. So that's going to, and now we can replace this again 
with what we have in the second box. So let's just copy, paste it here, and that should work. Okay, we don't need to do anything else just yet. But now we need some way of actually switching to our camera. So we need our video to switch. Okay. So you could do this a couple different ways. You could in theory go and have a video switch box or you could build another Lua script. Now, once again, this is completely up to you on how you would like to do this. Um, let's just do the very basic way, which is actually going to go and just switch the video signal for us. So we're going to output again and we're going to output on channel two and it's going to be T2. So if T2 is pressed, then we're going to output on channel two. Great. We can go to this composite and we're going to add an extra node onto it. So we're going to make two nodes. Perfect. Actually, sorry, we're going to go and bring it to one and we're just going to copy and paste that. My apologies. And there we go. And we're going to upload on channel two. Great. So that's going to then switch our video signal itself. Okay. So we're going to come back into our design. We're going to add a new node and that new node is going to be for our camera. So our camera coming in. Perfect. Camera coming in is just over here. So what we want to do is if we press this, we want to see the camera screen. So we'll get a simple video switch box and we'll place it there. So we're going to say if everything, if we're not pressing, then we want this Lua screen to go through as off into our output. And if we're pressing it on, then we want the camera feed to go through. Okay. Now the biggest problem with this is that now we don't have any way of getting back. We don't have any way of getting back to our actual main menu screen. Okay, but we'll figure that out in a few minutes. Let's just update this in. Let's just go and add our camera because I haven't added a camera yet. So we can add a simple camera and let's face it that way. Cool. And let's get our video connected and our electricity connected. And we can go and spawn it in. Let's go and see if our second menu bar is there. Okay, it is, but it's in the wrong place. So let's go and see what we've done wrong with the height of that. So we can go back into our Lua script and let's see. So we got draw rectangle. Okay, so I went and increased that, which I should have actually increased this. Okay, so we'll just go and change that. So that should have been one. We should have changed the Y, not the X. Okay, so we can increase that, increase that. So 10, 11, one, two, and then same over here. So make sure it's one and 11. Cool. Okay. So we just got that switched around, done, updated again, spawn it in. Let's go and check. Our menu should be in fixed because we switched the X and Y around. There we go. So we got our light, our camera. So if we press the light, the light goes on and if we press camera. Hey, there's our camera screen. And actually, because it's not receiving any touch anymore, it switches back automatically, which is pretty cool. Okay. Now you could have this lead to another Lua. Okay. So we could go into our microcontroller again and create a whole nother menu subdirectory. Okay. So you could say, if we're pressing that button on two, then we're going to go to another Lua block. So you could actually literally just have like another Lua block here. And then it could extend, 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 extend. You can have as many directories as you want to just have to have more and more Lua blocks and make a way to go forwards and backwards because as you simple touch, which is on and off, it automatically went back for us. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, you could add more and more and more as it always start by doing the actual menu. Once you have the menu, it makes it much easier to actually then go and do um, all the touch all the touch coordinates and buttons uh, and do your outputs and things like that. But yeah, you can create as many menus as you want. You can create it going along uh, vertically, horizontally. You can make it on a huge screen. You can make it on a small one by one screen. Once again, completely up to you. Uh, and I think it's pretty cool. I like having screens instead of having a row of 100 buttons. I think it's a little bit easier. Uh, but once again, up to you. Hopefully this tutorial has been really nice and helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think we should be doing in the next one. What would you like seeing being added onto the uh, systems that we have here? Uh, let me know in the comments and also let me know how you liked this one on how to do a touch screen. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.